Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today we're going to be making this pretty Christmas card using the Peaceful Cabin Bundle. It's actually a full suite with some accessories and um, beautiful DSP and we'll just get into it and I'll show you as we go along. All right, so this is our base layer and it's a piece of basic gray and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it four and a quarter. This is a piece of the Peaceful Place DSP. This is the side we're using, but this is the other side. I already have some adhesive on it, but um, the snowflakes and the uh, metallics are just gorgeous. We're, we're using this side today. And this is cut at five and a quarter by four, and I'm just going to adhere it on. This is the third time I've started this video, so this already has adhesive on it. So we'll just place that down. Then I have another piece from the Peaceful Place DSP. This one is cut at four and a half by three and a quarter. And here's the other side, just so you can take a peek. And we'll just put some adhesive on this one as well. And stick this on. We're just gonna center it right up. There we go. And then this is our last layering piece. And this is still from the same um, DSP, Peaceful Place. And this one is cut at five and a quarter by two. Here's the other side. You can see the cabin. Um, that would make a really pretty Christmas card without stamping even. All right, so we'll get this on here. All right, just like that. So then I have a piece of, this is actually thick basic white only because I had used part of it for another project and I just want to use it up. You could easily use the regular, um, just basic white. So we're going to be using the Peaceful Cabin stamp set today and we're going to be using this pretty um, cabin stamp right here. This set does come with matching dies that we're going to be using some of. I'll just show you the rest. So you've got um, this cabin piece. This is actually two pieces. I just have it linked together. So you could stamp the cabin and then use this to cut the outline out, but it doesn't completely cut the cabin out. And this cabin does not match the cabin that's on the stamp set, just so you know. They're both equally pretty, but it just gives you a few more options on um, what you can make. All right, so we're gonna start by stamping the cabin in basic gray. All right, and I, I have a lot of my supplies packed up for class tonight, so I'm using what I've got out. So we're just gonna stamp in basic gray here. And then we're going to use I'm using my two and a half inch circle punch just because my layering circles are packed up as well. So I'm just gonna center that the way I want it and give it a press and there we go. And then we're going to do our trees. Now, this cuts the trees out as a whole. I'll show you as we go. And then I, not as a whole, like the trees are all connected. So we just need a piece that will fit. You could do all three. I'm only gonna focus on these two because those are the only two I used on this project anyways. All right. So bring up the stamp and cut emboss machine. I'm just going to put that on. And then this piece gives the detailing in the tree. You could do it separately, but I just put it right in. It fits right there. And you can do it all in one shot. And there we go. So when you're done, you have this piece right here. Now mine's not coming out because I didn't go all the way to the edge. So we're just gonna snip that there. And then I'm just gonna take a quick minute and poke out these little holes here. 
That is one thing that takes a minute on this card. Otherwise, it goes pretty quick to make it. There we go on that one. So you could leave this, if, if you measured out a bit better, as it is as a landscape type piece. But I wanted just the trees for this project. So I'm just gonna come along and just snip out and just, I'm not gonna do it straight. There is a little bit of a line that I'm kind of following from the um, pressure of the dies. And then there, just like that. So that doesn't take long at all. And then our last piece that we need is our Noel. And the Noel I'm using is from Tidings and Trimmings. And this stamp set also has dies that we are not using today and that sold as a bundle. So we're gonna come back in with our basic gray. And that has a little mark on it. Let me just flip it over. There we go, that's a better spot. Now I have ink on my fingers. All right, typical me. We're just gonna stamp right here in the corner. Close up my ink pad. And then I'm just gonna cut that out. You could measure it before, but it was small enough that if I cut it, it'll be fine. There we go. All right, so now let's get the rest of the card together. I did put this piece, the cabin, up on some dimensionals, so let me grab, let me see if I've got there. We'll just grab a new sheet. There we go. And now the we're just gonna put that right about here. And now for the trees, I'm using mini dimensionals because there's a couple spaces you can sneak them in on. So right here, you can fit a whole mini dimensional without it showing. And then I cut some of the dimensionals in half. And then I'm just gonna put one half right here, or let's do it down here, because some of that's gonna go on the um, cabin circle. And then you can fit another piece right here, and then it'll stick nicely for you. Oh. All right, so we're just gonna put this right here at the bottom of our card. There we go. And the Noel, all I did was take some stamping seal. And then I just came in right here. And that's all there is to it. So there's the card we made. Here is our original. And thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions or need help with orders or anything, please just leave me a comment or send me a message. Thanks so much. All of my links will be listed down below.